Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the month for a comic chest. The comic book store to your door. So I hopped online to chat with the comic chest, link in description. And I'm like, hey guys, what's up? I'm ready for a comic chest. And they're like, oh, hey McGuff, what kind of comic chest are you looking for this month? And I'm like, uh, you know what might be a really fun theme? Space, 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 space. And being the absolutely wonderful badass company that they are, they go, yeah, space is easy. We'll space the shit out of this box for you. And here it is. Comic chest space. Getting dull. Per usual, a little treat to sweeten the deal. Some nerds and some starbursts. Starbursts? Yeah, starburst. Starbursts? Is it starbursts or just starburst? Is it always plural? And if it's two of them in a package of one, is that considered starburst or starburst? I don't know got our little uh, directory saying what stuff's in there. It doesn't say exactly what's in there. It says kind of what's in there, just to let you know what's up. In case you're confused about what you're looking at, this will let you know without telling you what it actually is. They're able to keep it a surprise. A little personal note, space. Thank you. Thank you guys, this is awesome. We're gonna revisit this later, okay? They have a coming soon card for the next month's theme. I opted out of this month's theme because I really like the idea of doing a space theme. So that's the nice thing is you have an option of what you want to do. Do you want to know what next month's theme is? Say hello to the bad guys. Really nice flyer. I love it. It's going to be a bad guy themed month. That's dope. I'll go for that. Uh, yeah, so random. Hilarious. It's a sticker from the Phantom Menace. <laughs> a Phantom Menace sticker. I think this is from the end of The Phantom Menace when uh, Senator Palpatine's all like, we have big plans for you. Yeah, cool. Ah, uh, promo comic chest sticker. All about that, sticking on something special. Some Terminator playing cards. Yes, a nine card booster pack. Okay, okay. Fly through these. <laughs> I think this is for an actual Terminator card game back in the day. Um, I can't be sure, but uh, it's still fun. You got your sewage tunnel entrance. Hilarious. This character, uh, Ray's from the future. The uh, garbage man with the silly voice. It says, lead by example. And I think that's John Connor in the future telling somebody some shit. Laser defense grid. Very blurry, I can't even make that out. It's from the 90s, you know? Terminator vision with adaptive programming. Neat. Phased plasma charge. All right, Terminator cards, that's what's up. There's the dudes that Arnold gets his clothes from. You got Bill Paxton in there. Hey, I think this guy's a couple cans short of a six pack. Nice. Since I just did cards, let's keep it rolling with playing cards, all right? Oh, baby. This is what's up? I'm so glad that I chose space. This is such a fun theme. All right, me got motherfucking Thanos. Mmm, Badoon. You know Skrulls from Captain Marvel and other Marvel properties. Got some Ovoids from the Fantastic Four. Quasar! I don't think we're ever gonna see Quasar in a movie. Uh, they'll probably just use Nova in the future, but uh, Quasar's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yes. Old school Drax before they upgraded them in the comics. And last but not least, your Imperial Guard. These are a bunch of badasses. Uh, quick reminder, everything is individually wrapped. How nice is that? It's because the comic chest cares. Every chest feels like Christmas. Yeah, it says vintage. See that? That's what it says. Dude! That is Cor Cors Corsar? Corsair? Cors Corsair? He's like a space dude. Uh, you guys know Cyclops? This is Cyclops' dad, okay? Christopher Summers. Chris Summers, I think it is. Let me do a little research. Uh, yeah, Christopher Summers. 
Cyclops is dead. That's what's up. There he is. He's basically a space pirate. All about it. Awesome. Let's open up the uh, hero clicks. You guys know what hero clicks are, right? Do you have what it takes to join the mightiest heroes in the universe? Then join the world's number one collectible miniatures game. Welcome to Hero Clicks. Create your ultimate force in this turn-based strategy game. Roll the dice and KO enemies. So, got some good news. With all the hero clicks I've been getting from all these comic chests, you know, I've been assembling this amazing hero clicks team. I got something on the books for actually playing some hero clicks. So, I'm going to have to figure out how to actually play this game. And for those that are playing against me, watch out. I'm coming. Dope, 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 dope. All right, you got Mantis. See the dial on the bottom there? That's how you play the game. You move your spaces and you play with the dial and then you play with the game and so on and so forth. Starhawk, classic space figure, flying around space. You guys know Yondu. You remember Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy? Guardians of the Galaxy uh, updated him a little bit. Can't have Yondu without a little bit of Star-Lord joining him. Yes. Hell yes. Let's go for the collectible, huh? What do we got? Oh. I believe this is the first time I've gotten a Marvel Legends figure. These things are legit. I got Guinness Vale. Guinness Vale. Guinness Vale. And because it's a Legends figure, it comes with a, a one piece of another figure. They want you to buy like five of these to build one of these. It's a scam. But us nerds fall for it. I wonder how much it's worth. This thing is nice. Okay, so this dude is a Titan Eternal. So I'm wondering if he's gonna be in the Eternals movie coming out this year? Yeah, look at this dude. The nice thing about Marvel Legends figures is how like posable they are. You can play with them and they're quality toys. If they were just like a little bit cheaper, I would buy way more, but one of these is like 20, 25 bucks. Awesome, this is awesome. Let's do another vintage. Yes! Oh, I got two! Oh, dude, I used to have this. I don't know what happened to mine. I think I lost it in the, uh, the old purge of my basement. Oh, this brings back memories. <laughs> Very cool. I don't remember his name. Oh, yes! Got another space pirate. He's got, like, the whole cable arm thing going on. Very cyborg of him. Check it out. So, you, you lift his arms up, yeah, and then you hit the button. <laughs> nice. Oh, here's here's my Marvel Legends leg. Sweet. I'm curious if any of these characters are gonna show up in the next Guardians of the Galaxy. Or Captain Marvel, I guess. I doubt it. They're, they're kind of weird with Captain Marvel. I don't think they know what they're gonna do, but Guardians of the Galaxy is fun and weird. This guy could be in there, I hope so. And our last item, but certainly not least, you got your comic books. The chest includes 10 issues of comic books. Typically one story arc and the rest are loosely thrown in there. That are fun still. Yup, yup. Nova, baby. Soul Saga, this is so 90s. And then don't forget, comic grade card in the back tells you what they're worth on the streets because the comic chest lets you know the value of what your stuff is worth in the box unlike some of these other boxes out there if you know what I'm saying Nova I really hope that they cover Nova from the Annihilation series because if they bring him into the MCU that will be the best Aster very cool another Aster check out that cover Spacey. Adam Warlock, that's another one that needs to show up in the MCU. Adam Warlock is a big deal in comic books. I don't know why they haven't brought him in yet. There was like a hint toward him at the end of the Guardians of the Galaxy 2, but uh, it didn't really go anywhere, so 
maybe Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And then I got a bunch of Silver Surfer comic books for my story arc. Silver Surfer about to go ham on a dragon looking dude. Silver Surfer being way too cool for the ladies, giving them the coldest shoulder I've ever seen. Oh, Galactus versus Doctor Strange with the Silver Surfer in there. Very excited for this one. I love Galactus. Another character to bring into the MCU that we haven't seen yet. Good old Silver Surfer blasting it out. And then uh, Silver Surfer in the clutches of Cahoon. The Cahoon. Awesome. Thus concludes the space box. Uh, that one was fun. I might have to do another space box in the future. I'm sure there's way more stuff. Comic Toast is always worth way more than what you pay for it. Go to the links in my descriptions there and uh, you chat it up with them. You say, hey, this is what I like. You fill out a little bit of a questionnaire. They'll say, hey, that's cool, you're a cool person. We will fulfill your nerdy desires because we're the comic chest and that's what we do. And then they'll ship you a box in no time and uh, there you go. This is what you get. Should we do a quick recap? Hey, remember this from earlier? So to recap, you got a pack of cards, a bunch of hero clicks, two vintage action figures, one box collectible, and 10 comic books. Yo, that's what's up, comic chest. It's the best, all right? We love them. All right, I gotta clean up and nerd out. See ya. Subscribe.